you. We're going to do a makeup tutorial today. I have been requested to do, um, as you say, bubble goth kind of inspired makeup. Um, today we're going to do just kind of along the lines of these baby colors and I will show you how to get a rainbow inspired look for your makeup. Let's get started. Okay, ew, blah. Okay, you're going to lift up your eyelid and with your eyeliner pencil, you're going to outline the most inner part of your top eyelid. So it is all black. And this is a very careful process. And I'm not going to do the other eye. Next, get out your color palette you're about to use. I'm using Sephora, and that's the best kind you can use because you don't even need the toner on your eyes to make the colors vibrant. I'm going to be using this color, which is a light aqua, to represent the blue and the rainbow for the baby colors. But you can choose any one you want. So what you're going to do is take that color which you've chosen and apply it to the corner of your eye. And Sephora is great because the colors are very vibrant and thick. Okay, the next step is then to go back to your desired color palette and choose a soft yellow. I'll be using a darker yellow to make it pop. Then apply it to the center of your eye, but be sure to leave room for one more color on the other corner of your eye. Oh, and be sure to always wipe your brush off. You want clean colors, not mixed colors. Then take your color palette again and choose a pink color. I have many, but I'm choosing the darkest magenta to make a stronger effect. Once you have chosen a color, apply it to the corner of your eyes. Next, add your mascara. I'm using the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. Now be sure to add it to the bottom and top of your eyelashes. Then take your eyeliner pencil. Any black eyeliner will work. And apply it to the bottom eyelid. And for those of you that like the pale lip look like I do, Use liquid foundation and apply it to your lips. After adding liquid foundation, make sure you cover it up with some lip gloss. I'm using Victoria's Secret's lip gloss called Innocent. It's the best for a pale look. Then, when your makeup's all finished, I love to add gems to the corner of my eyes for extra sweetness. You can buy stick-on gems at Joann Fabrics or any craft store. Then ta-da, your makeup's all finished. So as you can see, it's pretty easy. And in a matter of five minutes, you can look like a bubblegum princess. So if you guys have any other makeup tutorials you would like me to check out or do, or whatever, please comment them below and I will be happy to do them because it's really fun. Okay, bye.